Okay, so hello and welcome back to another Discord bot tutorial. In this one, we're going to be covering how to write your own custom commands so that you can do like exclamation mark flip or exclamation mark roll or exclamation mark whatever. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to import a library that is um, made for basically helping you with JavaScript commands for um, Discord bot for the Discord bot. It's it's an extension from the uh, Discord.js library. And it basically just makes your life a lot easier. So I've already actually done it here. All you need to do is in your uh, node console at the bottom, just type um, it's npm. So it's npm for node package manager. Uh, Discord. Wait, sorry, sorry. Install Discord. Dot js dash commando. And then dash dash save. Just enter that. It'll install it just like we did with the other thing, uh, with the normal Discord library. And then at the top here, just change it to what I've got. So instead of like const uh, bot or const client require discord.js, you can still keep it called client if you want, but uh, then just make sure you actually import discord.js dash commando. It's called commando, it's for commands, yeah. And then just change this here to new commando client instead of new uh, whatever I used to have it being called, like discord client. Um, and apart from that, I've not changed anything else. So let's get into it now. One thing someone asked, which I'm going to respond to to help them with it, is on here it says like bot on message function. Blah, blah, blah. Instead of message dot reply, what this does is it's a function dot reply which will mention the person, then add this text message afterwards. What we want to do is maybe you want the mention not to be at the start. So instead of message dot reply, we'll do message dot channel, which is the channel the message was sent from, and then that'll just. Uh, Sorry, and then dot send. Uh, yeah, I can't type. Send message, um, and then this is what it's going to send to the channel, but without any mentions. So if you do want to add a mention in the middle, you'll do um, so like hello uh, plus message dot author, which is the person who sent it, uh, plus and then that. So if I now run the bot, whoops, node space dot. Um, if I go to Discord and I do hello, it's now it's instead of uh, what it used to be. I've been messing around with it here, so yeah, it does work like this. Uh, it used to work, okay. It used to be like Dapper Dino, hello, how are you? And now it's hello, Dapper Dino, how are you? So you can move it around like that. The reply command is only if you actually want to have it at the start. Um, let's just get rid of this. Uh, oh, there we go. So. Yep, the bot stopped. Okay. Um, what we want to do now is want to add a way to have custom commands. So, <laughs> do not want to watch this meme compilation right now. Um, we need to have some way of this main folder, the index.js file. We need some way of it knowing where our commands are because we're going to store them separately rather than on the the same one file. So we're going to say bot dot registry dot register group. Now this basically lets us have groups of commands. So we might have a group of commands for music, a group of commands for doing stupid little silly things like now, or you might have a group of commands for this, that, the other. So we're gonna make a group, and this will all be in different folders because you're gonna have lots of commands eventually. So we'll have a folder called simple and uh, we'll name it uh, simple with a capital. And then what we wanna do is we want to say bot.registry again, dot register, um, commands in, which is the um, what you write for putting basically where your commands are. You're going to store them somewhere. So we need the directory name, which is where we are now, plus slash commands, which means we're going to go then into the commands folder um, like that. Uh, I'm just going to keep it consistent and just use that. So now we're basically telling, um, we're going to tell the program that we have a folder to go into for commands called simple and the folder for all the commands is here. Now there's also this other thing we can write, uh, register, registry, sorry, dot register defaults, which will basically just handily give us, well I'll show you when we actually run it, it's so that we can run a command to basically tell us about all of our uh, commands and what they all do and what you type in to call them basically because when you get a new bot if someone just comes along and they've not seen your code they won't have a clue what it does so this lets them know all the functions 
or all the functionality of it. So now we're going to go and make a new folder. So in our main uh, folder, we're going to create a new one and we're going to call it simple. Sorry, no, no, no. We're going to call it commands, which is the this one commands. And then inside that, we're going to create another folder called simple. Inside here, we're going to create a new file called, well, it's a JavaScript file. We'll call it, um, I don't know, coin underscore flip dot JS. So now we've got a new JavaScript file, which is basically, it's literally going to be the file our command is in. This is where we write what a command does. So we're going to say, well, we need to import the library again because we're in a different file. So uh, just the same from the other one. So require uh, discord.js commander. And we're going to make a new class for our coin flip. So we're going to call it coin flip command. Now, because this is going to be a class, we're going to derive Okay, hopefully people watching this have has done something with classes. The if you haven't, then go watch my Python tutorial on classes. Even though we're in JavaScript, it's the same, uh, like the same thing. A class is a class, but you write them differently in JavaScript and Python. So yeah, it's not going to be the exact same. If you want to know exactly, then look up about JavaScript classes. But basically, a class is a template, and you can have a kind of like parent template and make child templates of them as such. So we're going to make our own called coin flip command. And then we were going to write extends, which basically means we're then going to be using the parent uh, command class, which is inside the library. So this is a library of commands, uh, and we're going to be making our class from that. We're basically deriving from it, and we're going to use the template for a, a command because all commands are going to have the same template. Uh, constructor is basically just what every um, Every command is going to have this, and this is where we write it. So I think there also are default values for these, but we need um, to say super client, which is like um, super is referring to the, oops, let me just do this. Uh, super is referring to the main, and then we're overwriting with these values so that every time we make our own command, we're not we're going to make our own values for the name group and stuff. So the name is what we type in to call the command. So I'm going to call it flip. This is up to you. Uh, the group is whatever we called it, which is simple. Uh, member name is what it's called. Basically, we just call this the same thing, to be honest. Just the name of the thing. Um, and then description is when someone looks up what our commands do, this is what it's going to say. So I'm going to say uh, flips a coin, comma, flips a coin, uh, landing on either heads or tails. I don't know, you put whatever you want here. Anyway, so that's the end of that. Um, and then down here, we're going to write the actual um, function for the command itself, so what it's going to do. So um, that's called run, and it's going to take in message and args. Message is the whole thing the person types, and args is everything they write after the command. So basically, let's say you write a music bot and you want to search for a song. Um, the like exclamation mark play is the message with the args as well but let's say you put exclamation mark play in, in a song name the song name afterwards is the arg so you can just refer to that it's just helpful um so we're going to say var uh, chance i don't know equals math dot floor math dot random times two yeah um which basically means it's going to pick a number between well either zero or one. Every, whenever we run, it, it's going to pick a number either zero or one, because even our times by two, remember, it's going to uh, number counting in programming starts from zero anyway. Um, though in this case, what it basically means is we're going to pick a random number. It can be a float, but we're going to floor it, which means rounding down. So if we get anywhere, I feel like um, it's actually possible for us to get two of this. Um, I'm not 100% sure how the random function for this works behind the scenes. It should basically never happen, and you could also have a, a case. We could say, um, yeah, I've got it. So the way you would do this sensibly is you would do um, if chance is equal to zero, then you want to say message dot reply um, your coin landed on heads. And then you would do else. So like no matter what, if as long as it's not a zero, then it will do this, which we're going to say is a 
message dot reply your coin landed on tails and then now right at the end all we have to do is we have to tell it to the main file basically that this command exists so if you see at the moment the class is kind of grayed out but if we write our command name which is coin flip command it goes green it's it's recognized now if we run the bot so uh, node dot ready we go back to discord now hopefully if i've done it right flip Ooh, math f is not defined that's because i'm so used to using uh unity and stuff that it's not math f it's just math that's just me being silly let's try again okay flip dapper dino your coin landed on tails flip you are kind of on tails i want to make sure it lands on the other one heads yeah okay there you go so you've got heads or tails now so there's a simple command and to be honest from you watching this video up to here you should be able to take this template i guess and write whatever you want for your own command i guess you can do whatever you want with this uh, i could just show one of a command really quickly so like what we'll do is we'll make another simple one um so we'll say inside simple we'll create another file which is going to be let's think we'll do a you know dice roll uh dot js and then to be honest i'm just going to copy and paste all this and just check it's, it's a lot faster probably so yeah that's the same coin flip command is a dice roll command we're going to call it uh the command will be roll member name roll simple um rolls a dice rolls a die well dice is singular so um rolls a dice um rolls a six sided dice we'll leave it like that we can actually change it so that the amount of sides is depending on what they put in here actually i'll do that uh rolls a no nah, no nah, i'll do that in another video because then we'll have to add cases of when they don't put anything in we'll have a default value i'll do that in the next video um for this one i'll just show you how to write this command so let's just basically change this to a dice roll command so this would work now but it would just do the exact same thing so we want to change this to say um var um dice roll equals um we'll basically do the same thing as this one you know with the math f.floor so we'll do um we're well, sorry math.floor so it's math.floor uh math dot random and we're gonna say um it's math dot random times six for this but then because it's a die it's not going to go from zero to five it's going to go from one to six we want to add one to our value just to make sure it's not zero to five um oops what have i done here is it just because i haven't added that on the end Ooh, what have i done ah okay that's fine anyway because we're just all we're going to floor is this and we're going to add one on the end uh so it's fine and then now we want to say um message dot reply um we'll just say message dot reply um so instead of the other one being two messages where it actually picks between we're actually going to change the message depending on what they land on so it's going to say um uh, so it's going to say dapper dino your um your dice landed on um and then we'll just do plus dice roll and there's nothing more to it really so let's see if i've done this right uh roll whoops uh roll your dice land on four one on three six one and so on so basically there's two commands we've got roll and flip there we go so i mean there's nothing more i need to show this tutorial you can probably go away and you know put this into your own um commands that you want to do uh in the next one i'll show uh, how to like give people roles when they join the server like how to have commands that get called when people join when people leave give people like a role when they join instantly so things like that uses of the bot so anyway um 
I've not got much else to say, obviously, liking, subscribing to the channel will support me a lot. I'm going to keep making these videos as well as uh, Unity and whatever else. I'm going to keep making videos, hopefully, daily if I can. Um, obviously, uh, thanks for all the support, everyone. You know, the channel's growing pretty quickly and uh, I'm getting quite a lot of comments now. You know, it's nice talking to people. And also, join our Discord if you haven't already. Uh, link's in the description. We discuss games and things and whatever else. I've got quite a few members now considering it's not been around for long but hey you know join the community if you want but yeah so i uh, got nothing else more else to say so thanks for watching and goodbye